Roblox is one of the biggest platforms in the modern day and age. It has 70.2 million active users, which is absolutely crazy considering that a single platform has over half of the amount of daily active users of YouTube, which is 122 million. Think about it. Every other person that watches YouTube in a daily basis, chances are that they play Roblox. There are an outstanding amount of players and there are also an outstanding amount of developers. I mean, not all of them are got to you. I'd say most of them are starter developers, but either way, it's amazing. Why are there so many developers in Roblox? Well, you understand that they have a unique opportunity and you might have this opportunity as well. You see, there is a unique advantage that a lot of Roblox developers have that you might have as well without even knowing. All right, so listen up, bro. You've got a unique chance, a once in a lifetime opportunity, if you wanna call it like that. You wanna know what it is? I'll let you know, but first, let me tell you my story. It's 2010, I'm seven years old, and I just discovered Roblox. Not knowing what it even was, honestly, I discovered it by accident while trying to search for Cartoon Network's Toon platform. Toons were like a platform where you'd create like your own avatar and play games, kind of like Roblox, but it was like Cartoon Network's cash grab video game. Roblox was nothing like it is today. It only had a couple of playable games. It was more of a very bad and simple mini games platform to me, but it was a good way to pass the time. Nothing crazy, right? However, the years start passing and passing, and I start witnessing all the changes that are going through in Roblox. A game thrives, another game flops, one year, two year, three year, five years, eight years pass by, and now I'm 15 years old, and I've been consistently an active gamer in this platform now for eight years. I almost have now this premonition when it comes to Roblox games. Just by taking a quick look into a game, literally just by playing it for like three, six hours max, I would know if a game would flop or a game would thrive. After becoming aware of this almost superpower, I decided to do something that later would change my life on every level. Can you guess what it is, bro? Yep, that's right. I decided to start trying to make games. My line of logic was, I know what makes games thrive, I know what makes games fall. I'm always aware of trends, I like the platform, I've already invested over $200 to the platform, I mean, it's not really a lot of money, but to a 15 year old who lives in a third world country, you can already imagine how that felt like. So I just said, let's put all this knowledge to good use. You might be able to relate to what I'm saying. You know what are the trends in Roblox games. If you play or see a game, you can instantly take that intuitive guess on whether a game has potential or not. You know what features players like the most because you've just been in the platform for so long. This is what you might have that will give you a unique advantage over other people. And I can see you're still a little bit confused, but let me explain. You see, Roblox games do not behave like other games outside of Roblox. Roblox position in the gaming industry is unique. I know you've seen this. There are games with amazing graphics and poor gameplay that flop. But there are games that have poor graphics but decent gameplay that thrive. And when I mean flop, I mean literally like they start off with like 10,000 players, a week goes by, two weeks go by, and now there are 200 players, max. And there's a reason for this. The reason for this is because Roblox is the middle ground between mini games, like simple mini games, and very serious games. I know you must know what I'm talking about here. Chances are that you have that same intuition that I'm talking about, and you're gonna have to make a decision after what I'm about to say. There are literally so many players in Roblox right now that any game can become successful if you put time and effort into it. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna put all those years of knowledge and gaming into good use? Or are you just gonna settle with being a gamer? The truth is, man, that if you're 16 or 17 years old and you're still a hardcore Roblox gamer, man, why? Might as well spend that time on something that could yield a return, right? Could be doing so much more. You're about to enter adulthood. If you start now and do the right things, by 19, you'd be very, very advanced in game development. And with your knowledge, you have a better chance than pretty much anyone, any developer that doesn't have that intuition. And trust me, a lot of them don't have it. Just take a look at the front page, bro. You see all these games coming out, all these games flopping. It's Sometimes it's sad, but it is what it is. So what's it gonna be? You're gonna keep on gaming or you're gonna take the leap? Notice how my biggest emphasis is not Roblox player base, but I gotta talk about it because really it's it's important i feel like this is the best time to become a roblox developer just for this reason alone now if you add the intuition into it then it's pretty much impossible for you to get the formulas wrong now if you don't have that intuition it will be slightly harder for you but just know that roblox is a platform that operates on two things mainly trends and also simple fun games if you keep an eye out for trends and you make 
simple and fun games to play and implement those trends then your game will eventually thrive even if you've never played roblox before and you want to start making games but you can't pick an engine roblox studio is your best bet to get the basics of game development just because of the simplicity plus they have an amazing community aspect oh and not to mention it's completely free you don't need to pay for any service and you can make literally any type of game and that's all for today's video man stay safe and i'll see you when i see you peace